Hi there, this is Dr. Johnny Trong. I'm gonna share with you four of my favorite tips on how to reduce injuries, reduce the probability of injuries uh, in sports and also at your workplace. So the first thing that I would recommend, of course, is getting your neck aligned. You know, your upper cervical, the top two bones of your neck surrounds your brainstem. Now when your neck is out of alignment, it causes your, your head to shift to one side. And because your head's shifting, your shoulder also adapts to it, and then your whole entire body goes out of balance. And because it's going out of balance, it creates this postural disturbance that can lead to strain on your, your neck, your shoulders, your back. And if you imagine if you were to play um, sports, there's a repetitive motion where you're throwing the ball, or you know, if you're doing a golf swing and your body's contorted like that, it can lead to possible shoulder injuries, it can lead to possible back injuries because the posture is off, the, the whole muscle the, uh, along the whole entire body is out of balance. So getting that neck aligned is very important, um, you know, especially the top bone in there. And of course, if you're, you, you have a regular normal nine to five job where you're sitting at the front of the desk, your neck is leaning forward, your head is tilted, of course, and your whole body is contorted. Can you see how that can lead to shoulder pain? Can you see how that can lead to neck pain? Um, so getting that neck aligned, making sure that the posture is correct, that would be a really good start. The second thing that I would recommend is getting uh, stretching. I mean, just getting your body stretched on a regular basis. It's really simple and it doesn't take a lot of your time. One of the, the simple ones is to hold down your shoulders and then just you know, stretch your neck like this. So that way you get this nice stretch there and then you can do the other side as well. And um, the another thing that most of us probably don't think about is stretching your hamstrings. Your hamstring muscles are the, the muscles in your thigh behind, and the, the back part of your thigh. And that muscle tends to be really tight. And um, you know, just doing a simple lunge or even uh, putting your leg on, on, a, on a, you know, like a ledge or something and just stretching that out um, would be a, would go a long ways and it'll help you as far as your comfort level with sitting and so with with that stretch it's it, you know just do it every day that's going to help free up the the hamstring muscles and so your comfortability as far as sitting will, will improve and of course your gait and your walk will improve as well so stretch regular every day key thing to a good stretch though is you should stretch for anywhere from seven seconds to ten seconds you do not want to stretch any less than that because it's going to be really ineffective. So if you were to do this and just you know let go, that's not as effective as holding it, right? Hold it for about seven to ten seconds and let go. That's going to be a much better, more effective stretch. And of course, you the third tip that I want to give you is pay attention to your pain. If you have pain, if you have neck pain, back pain, hip pain, um, headaches. All those signs is like a check engine light. Your body's telling you something's wrong. Something is not right. And for you to you know, continue doing a particular action like in sports where you're throwing a ball and, you, and your shoulder's you know, in pain and you keep throwing it anyways, what's gonna happen eventually is you're gonna develop a chronic shoulder problem that is gonna require a lot more invasive uh, type of treatment. And so just paying attention to your pain is very important. Don't ignore it. And whenever you have pain, um, or I mean, even you have uh, back pain and you're sitting in, at a, a desk all day at work, back pain can translate to, you know, serious disc problems that can develop, disc bulges. So you wanna pay attention to that. You wanna, uh, during work, you know, maybe set the alarms, stand up every, every 30 minutes and walk around just to reset your back. Because if, if your back, uh, bulges and herniates into the, the nerve area in the back, it can lead to all types of problems in the, your lower extremity and it can affect your walking as well. Um, so pay attention to your pain. Pain is one of those things that actually is interpreted through your brainstem actually. So your body's gonna send messages through this brainstem, it goes into your brain and your brain then interprets that information and um, it tells you whether you have pain in the, whether there's a level of intensity of pain that's there. So when the bone is out of alignment, what it does, it irritates this area, causes this amplification of pain perceived by your, your brain. And getting that neck aligned the, will actually turn down that amplification and so your perception of pain actually improves. And so, and then the, the last tip that I find that's very important um, is really to eat well, to, to be cognizant of what you put in your body. Are there certain things that you're putting in your body that might be causing inflammation? See, the inflammation is the precursor to pain. 
So if you can lower inflammation, eat foods that lower inflammation, that's going to help you tremendously. And one of the things I find is uh, eating oils like, uh, you know, foods with oils like olive oil was really great. Um, eating nuts like uh, almonds and walnuts are really excellent oils that help lower inflammation in your body. And also eating fruits, you know, apples, blueberries, those things are really good anti-inflammatory um, sources of food that you can take into your body. So as you can see, you know, uh, trying to stay healthy, trying to reduce injuries from your work or your, your uh, sports really takes a, a level of commitment and also a level of awareness about your body and um, you know just being proactive about it and don't ignore it you know and, and it's definitely doable definitely possible and you can you can't adopt a lifestyle that's going to maximize and improve your um, your health and, and and avoid injuries at your workplace and sports so thank you for listening to me. I appreciate your time and attention. My uh, uh, office is in Koreatown. Um, you, you can learn more about that um, at my website, uh, www.doctor, spelled out D-O-C-T-O-R-T-R-U-O-N-G, so drtrong.com. Thank you again. You have a wonderful day.